to usher in the spirit of Christ, our Lord, to bring him back into the schools uh, and to bring him back into the state house and the legislator, the general assembly and allow bills to be passed that has his stamp of approval. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the Bible says that um, there will come a time when heaven will be taken by force and you have to want it. And you know what I always say? Only the diehard will make it. But the problem is a lot of people want to go to heaven, but they're scared to die. A lot of people want to fight for the Constitution, but they're afraid to actually fight. Yeah, you put a gun in their hand, then they're, they're stuttering. You ask them for help, right? They're stuttering. For volunteering, they're stuttering. But only the diehard will make it. And I, I, hope, I hope your listeners remember that. Only the diehard will make it. Those who have been in the trenches, those who have uh, experienced their last breath almost, you know, the brink of breaking. Um, and, and we have to be careful who we align ourselves with because if you are one of the diehards but you are with, you are linked up with a weak link, right, a sunshine patriot, um, that will also break you, right? Uh, it's like it's like uh, what they used to do back in the biblical times. Uh, one of the punishments for criminals is they would put a dead body on their backs. Yeah, that was one of the punishments back in the day. They'll put a dead body on their back or a leprous person on their back, and it'll it'll begin to eat away at their life as well. And that disease w would spread. That was one of the, the penalties, uh, like a criminal penalty. And when you link yourself up and yoke yourself up uh, with with people who, are, who do not align with your belief system uh, in such a way where it's detriment to your very life and existence, uh, it can really throw you off. It can throw you off your square. You know, coming into the political realm, we learn that very fast because what these political... Uh, agents, right? What they try to do to you is they try to cut you down in your infancy. When you're just now coming out, they say things like they said to me, uh, uh, we didn't want you to align with those particular people. We don't like the freedom fighter people. And because you align, this is true, because you aligned yourself with, with them, with those people, right? Liberty-minded freedom fighters, that's what the people were that they uh, were, were talking about. Uh, we're not going to camp. We're not going to finance your campaign. My friends are not going to help you. You know, 